Hey everybody, it's Shisha here. Today I want to quickly demonstrate the new feature from Visual Studio Code. It's about to auto format your Apex code. This is the feature I've been waiting for two years so far. And then finally, in September 2019, the Salesforce Visual Studio team has launched officially this uh, Apex auto formatting feature. So I just want to use this video to quickly go through the steps that we need to configure to enable this feature in our local Visual Studio Code project. Let's dive in here, okay? So firstly, let me just create a, create a, a project. Let me give it the auto formatting Apex, give it a name, set the place, which is fine. And then it automatically created the skeleton project folder and files for me. So now let me create the Apex code, Apex, SPDX Apex. Uh, it takes some time to finally launch all the commands. Okay, so Apex, okay, so auto, auto formatting. I just give it a obvious name. And now here is the project, okay? And uh, now if I give it some stuff, system.debug, test, for example, like this, I hit save, nothing happens. It does not auto format. So now our task is to enable this feature. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I have to go to the console of under this uh, very same folder of this project. I need to, first of all, you need to make sure your node, the NPM, is installed. You need these two things to enable this feature. If you don't have them, install the node. The node should already have the npm installed for you, okay? And the first thing is to npm init. So init a node project in your local folder. What it gonna do is actually create a package uh, .json uh, file in, under this same uh, folder. So you don't need to really care about everything else. So now it, what it does is to create a package.json and this same folder. This is the file created. It's gonna save all the uh, node modules here. So the next step is npm install, save dev, save exact, prettier, prettier plugin Apex. So it will install these two node module into your uh, same folder, under this same folder for you. Okay, once these two are installed, the next step is that you have to make sure there's a dot prettier um, RC file under this same under the um, under the same folder. If you don't have this, this come comes by default with if you use Visual Studio Code as part of the template when you create the project. If you don't have this, uh, no worries. You can go to the article about use how to use this feature. So I'm gonna put down below this uh, video description. You go there, those are the Salesforce VSC team that created the article. It's exactly the same step as I'm talking about in this video, okay? So get that file and save it to this same uh, folder if you don't have it. And then the next step is to make sure you also have the prettier plugin. And the next step actually is very important. It's not at the moment uh, um, uh, in this article. So I found out by myself by asking questions in Twitter is that if you go to the global settings of Visual Studio Code, you go to auto save uh, format with format auto. <laughs> was it uh, auto save auto save format? Oh, format auto save. So it's ah okay. It's format format on save. So you have to make sure this toggle is enabled, which means when you hit save in Visual Studio Code, then it will format the file automatically for you. At least I need this feature. I want to have this feature. Another one is this uh, this timeout settings. You have to set it in a, a large value at by default i think it's 700 milliseconds now i set it to five 
thousand milliseconds is five seconds in total. So that will make sure that it's not timed out when we format our Apex code. This is very important. The default value does not go. It will time out and you didn't get any errors. So make sure you set the 5000 or something so that will allow you to auto format your Apex code. Now if we jump back here and we hit save, you see nothing really happens. I don't know why is it like this. So I, what I always need to do now is I need to close the folder and then reopen the same folder to enable this feature. It's a little bit weird. I don't know if do we always have to do this, but uh, this is something I found interesting and uh, you may also need to do this again, but maybe in future you don't need to reopen the folder to enable this feature anymore. So I have already uh, reopened the folder and uh, now is that okay finally it's loaded successfully and now hit save. At the moment my laptop is a bit slow so you see at the moment it does not go. It still take a little bit time for the for the tool to understand what, what I'm doing. Let me try it multiple times. I think finally it will get a success message. Okay, let me hit. Yeah, you see now, I don't know why, so I need to wait for like 10 seconds to 20 seconds after reopen the folder. And now, so for example, if I give the multiple uh, empty line hit save now you see it automatically format my code hit save yeah this is exactly what we want so I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to check the article down below in the description that has the up-to-date information there so I hope you enjoyed it see you next time